Someone in China ate a bat and then got really sick. Now we're all trapped inside our houses. What a f dick. Nobody wants to live this way. But there's a place you'll be okay. Good thing we all can go downstairs. And hang out with someone who cares. He's like you, he's locked in too, with his current state of affairs. So pull up a seat while we all hang downstairs. Good morning, welcome to day 11 of Corona Eviction 2020. Uh, day 11 of me working at home, not day 11 total. People have been asking me that, and I said, no, just day 11 of working at home. Uh, it's like day 15, I think, total-wise. Uh, we sounded like we're trying to get me back on the air next week, uh, albeit locally or uh, remotely from here. So I'd be doing my show from here, and then it'd be on in the studio So because they still don't want me at work, and I don't know if that's just a ploy on their part or what. So we'll uh, hopefully be on the air next week. Uh, probably no my three songs or anything, but or backtracks. We'll just have to muddle through until I can actually get back in the studio. Um, tried to clean up a little bit in here. Got the VCRs out. They were sitting in the back. Um, still cluttered, but it's a little better. Um, wore my Brewer stuff today. Brewers would have been playing St. Louis tonight, 640, first pitch, uh, coming off of that big weekend series with the Cubs. But, of course, none of that happened. Um, I bought uh, RBI or MLB 2020 for my PlayStation, so that's my baseball fix right now, uh, trying to do that. Um, some things from the weekend. I broke down and watched Tiger King on Netflix. It's been showing up on my news feed on Facebook. Everybody's been talking about Tiger King. Of course, everybody's locked in their homes, and they have a captive audience, pardon the pun, for Tiger King. And what the F. <laughs> People that own exotic zoos are nuts. The main guy, Joe Exotic, this is Joe, uh, he is a gay man that owns an exotic zoo or owned an exotic zoo. You'll have to watch the show to find out what happens. But um, he's been ex ac accused of not doing things right. He let people hold baby tigers, and you're not supposed to do that, apparently. I mean, just stuff like that. So he's been under fire from uh, a few people, animal rights groups, and a lady that owns something called Big Cat Rescue in Florida. He's in Oklahoma. This lady's in uh, Florida saying that you shouldn't be doing that and all this. And she's got her big cat rescue. She lets people in too. And also uh, uh, they, she makes a lot of money off of it. Oh, and by the way, uh, she may or may not have killed her first husband. <laughs> Seriously. That's all part of this show. Seven, there's seven episodes. They talk about all this. Then there's this other guy who's got this big zoo, and he, he does shows. He comes in riding an elephant. and um, Oh, and he's got a bunch of girls that work for him that are considered his wives. So this is another zoo owner. I don't know what the deal is with the exotic zoos and who owns them, but apparently they're all nuts. But uh, part of the show was he would, uh, this Joe Exotic, would go out, and do these mall tours where he'd load up a truck with his animals, go to a mall for a weekend, and let people pet the animals. They, they could be hired to come in. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if anybody around here ever did that, had him come in. So I did a little research, and wouldn't you know it, Green Bay, Wisconsin, East Town Mall, back in 2008, I found advertising runs for two separate appearances. Here's the first one, April 16th through the 20th. As you can see, Master Illusionist Joe Exotic. They did a little magic during these shows as well. Uh, he's at the East Town Mall with all his animals. 
and then later on in the year uh the weekend of september 24th through the 28th you can see the ad here both the as these ads from the uh green bay press gazette um he also did a sh uh not only his magic shows as you can see uh, delivering a message to children of the uh, dangerous effects of drugs and alcohol and the importance of staying in school. So, uh, a nice message from Joe Exotic for the kids. Now, I don't want you to think I'm just picking on Green Bay, so let's go to my hometown of Marshfield, Wisconsin, and the Marshfield News Herald. Here is a picture of a lady feeding a tiger from one of the events they held at the shops at Woodridge, the former Northway Mall in Marshfield. Uh, he was there three times over the course of a couple years. So he's been in Marshfield too a lot and in lacrosse. Uh, with this traveling show. There's all sorts of information on this guy uh, during Tiger King. So if you haven't watched it, I don't want to give too much away, but you got to watch it. It's seven, uh, seven episodes. Totally worth watching. Um, we had some bad news yesterday. Actually, a lot if you're a music fan. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about John Prine. Um, his family posted that they had admitted him on Thursday for uh, COVID-19 symptoms. He um, uh, was intubated, I believe, Saturday, and he's in critical condition. He's 73, uh, considered one of the greatest singer-songwriters of our time, very influential. Uh, I know we played a little John Prine. I think we played A Legal Smile on WAPL. I added that video at WAPL.com. There's a story there about uh, what's going on with John Prine. So as we record this, he's still in critical condition, so we're keeping an eye on that. And then a little while before we found out, found out about John Prine, we found out about Joe Diffie. And Joe Diffie is a country music act that... Uh, he played the Hodag in Rhinelander a few times. I've seen him live. Um, he had a lot of great songs. Uh, he passed away at 61 from coronavirus. Uh, he did, If the Devil Danced in Empty Pockets, He'd Have a Ball in Mine. Um, I used to sing that lyric all the time. Uh, he also did a song called John Deere Green, which if there was ever a country music song, that would be the country music song. Basically, in a nutshell, guy named Billy Bob gets up on the water tower, spray paints Billy Bob Loves Darlene, his girlfriend, and the townsfolk, instead of being angry from, from the vandalism, said, oh, he should have used red, <laughs> not green. <laughs> but she didn't mind because it, it was a nice sentiment. And that was John Deere Green. Uh, a lot funnier song if you listen to it. So, But that's Joe Diffie. He had a lot of other great hits, a lot of bigger hits than that. Um, and he passed away at 61 yesterday. Coronavirus. I know we joke a lot. I mean, I'm sitting here joking about it being stuck at home, but serious shit going on. So just take care, be careful, and man hunker down until we can get this figured out because going out is not helping so i will shift gears since we're talking a little bit about country music uh it leads us into a new feature that we call holy crap, crap. Look, look at, at that. that look, look what, what ross just, just found. found so cleaning up the house running cable for my wife upstairs because she's working at home uh I was going through the rafters and things in the basement, and I've got a lot of stuff stuck up in the rafters just to keep it out of the way, like old molding and things like that. And I found this up in the rafters that I may have taken from the radio station. Does anybody remember this radio station? It was one of ours, 92.9 Country, WXMM. It was on the air a few years ago. It's not on anymore. We'll talk about that. Uh, just backstory, and I'm gonna, I don't want to get in trouble for this, but we're gonna pull the curtain back a little bit. We never at Woodward had a country station. 
uh, never put one on for some reason. I think people were against it, which is fine. I mean, there was a lot of country stations in the market, and that could have very well been the reason. Uh, the last country station that we had was it was WAPL FM, uh, the country giant back in the 70s, uh, probably about four years. Uh, right before we flipped to rock, it was a country station. Um, so we didn't have a country station until XMM. And they decided to put it on the air. And at that point, you know, we were just saturated with brand new country. You know, there's a lot of stations playing new country. There were no classic country stations on the air. The last classic country station that was on the air in the market was the Mustang. And it was at 94.7, and we bought it and blew it up and turned it into Razor 94.7. So that's our fault. Um, but they decided to put the station on the air at 92.9. And the guy that was in charge of it, uh, he's no longer working at our station. So I feel okay about talking about this. I, uh, I had talked to him because I, I knew there was an opportunity there to do something different with the country because everybody was doing new country. There was no classic country on the air anywhere. Uh, not since we, we bought the Mustang and took that off the air. So I said, you know, there is a market for classic country here with everybody listening to all the new stuff. These are all been a lot of been longtime country music fans that would love to hear the old stuff on the radio. And if we did a local station like that, I bet you we'd clean up. Well, what the hell do I know? I'm the rock guy, uh, and I'm sure they already had a plan in place. So uh, nothing ever happened. Um, and my wife is the country music fan, so she'd listen to XMM when it was on the air. And she called me one day and said, what is going on with your country station right now? And I said, why? And she said, they're playing a country version of a Lady Gaga song. And I said, what? Yeah, they're playing Lady Gaga, but a country version of the song. <laughs> Needless to say, the station didn't last much longer than that. <laughs> but, and then, like within the year or two, a classic country station came on in the market. Although, I don't think they know what they're doing either. Uh, they All the Kenny Rogers songs they were playing were the ones that, that he remade for uh, like his classics, greatest hits, only he remade them all. They're not the original versions that were on the radio at the time. And I know because I listened to classic country back then. So that lost all credibility with me. Maybe I should put a classic country station on the air. I don't know. Give me the reins. With Between me and my wife, we'll have that thing purring like a kitten. Uh, oh, well. That's it. I'm going to get out of here. I've got things to do today. i got to think of a show for tomorrow. Um, keep it logged on to WAPL.com for updates on John Prine and other things going on. We're trying to keep you up to date during this whole thing of uh, and try to keep you entertained, too. So uh, Rick and Len are on the air, and John and Elwood will be on the air this afternoon. I think they're first starting now this afternoon doing the road show from th at least 3 to 5, if not 3 to 6. So... Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you then.